Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all well. Merry Christmas, it's December. <laughs> Big excited for Christmas. I'm Rosie Henshaw, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're already new here, then welcome. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back. So today's video is a Poundland stocking filler video. So grab yourselves a nice hot drink and some snacks. Let's get into the video. I've actually got apple juice, which I know it sounds crazy, but you know you just get a craving for something. No, I haven't got a tiny little baby. This is a mince pie in my tummy. Um, but I am actually craving apple juice, so I'm having apple juice. It is the, it is the season for apple juice, as they say. So, let's get into the video. So I went to the pound shop yesterday. I thought this would be a perfect little vlogmas day too. Now, the reason why I'm going to share this now, I was actually going to share this a bit later and do my reef video today, but I'm going to do my reef video tomorrow and hang it on my door, lovely, on the Friday. It's the 5th of December then when I hang it, which has always been a tradition in my house. It's put my reef on the door because it's my nan's birthday, so we always decorated on the 5th once her day was over. So even though I decorate way beforehand, I still like to keep the tradition of the 5th, so that's the day that my reef on the door goes up. So... Today's video is the Panland stockings. I don't know what, you're probably thinking, Rosie, why are you telling us this? We want to see the goodies. And I'm going to share you the goodies right now. Um, but basically, I went to the pound shop and I wanted to find some really good, but really good value stocking fillers. And when I went in there, I was actually really surprised by how good some of these actually were. So I thought I'd share them with you and maybe you can grab some as well. And obviously then you've got time to get them because I know some of you are so organised and smug about it because I haven't got anything organised. So I thought it'd be really good to share these with you. So the first things I picked up are quite girly bits. So we're going on like more of a younger girly bits here. When I first went in there, I went down the beauty section and they've got loads of little boxed items like this, which I thought were really cute. Now, if you look up close, this is a hair accessory kit and it comes with 12 pieces. So you get glittery hair bands, little bow clips, glittery clips and a headband. Now this was a pound. Now, if you know any little girls that love dressing up or anything like that, this could be put in their stocking easy, which I think is just so, such a lovely little stocking filler. And also as well, this could be part of a hamper of a little girl's present. I thought this was really good. Put a few other little bits in there with it. But for a pound, I thought that was a perfect little stocking filler. And I thought that was well worth it. So we put that one down to the side. And also in the same section, they sold these. So these are more Christmassy themed. They also had lip balms as well. So this is a two pack nail varnish. It's got a little picture of Santa on it. And it comes with a little silver nail varnish and a little red nail polish. And for a pound, I thought that was really good as well. So the little festive colours, you can have these early if you want to because they're lovely festive colours. But I thought for a stocking filler, that's really nice. Especially for like a young young girl, maybe a teenager, or even like an adult. I thought the red bike and the silver, really, really nice. Gives them something to do. And yeah, I thought that was really good for a stocking filler as well. So I'll pick that up. Also as well, they had these. So they had a different variety of this as well. They had like a, a mint green colour and it had a picture of a llama on the tag. So they've got these beautiful baubles, like bottles with a lovely ribbon on them. So once you take the tag off, I mean, the tag's got like a picture of an upside down puppy on it, like a pug, which my daughter would love because she loves pugs. But once you take that off, it's actually a really classy looking little thing. So this is a vanilla frosting scented shower gel. So it's like a bit of a Christmassy scent. But guys, is it me or could these be like little favours on your Christmas table? I mean, you know, they're really nice. You could do it for a pound as well. Once the bottle's over, you could keep these and sort of fill them with nice little red shower gels and stuff for the next Christmas. I thought these are really lovely. Love the shape of these. So for a pound, you get 250ml or 8.4 ethyl ounces, if that's what your conversions are. But 250ml and let's have a little scent of it. For a pound, I thought that's really good value. It's got a silver. <laughs> oh, 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 that smells so nice. It's still got the foil on it. I'm not going to undo the foil because I'm going to use this as a little stocking filler. But I know I can't do that, can I? I'll have to get another one. I've got to smell it for you guys. I need to, even though you can't know, and maybe something I like the smell of, you might not like the smell of. You might start judging my scent, scent tricks. Right. And then you take that off, and then there's also a plastic layer, which I've got on it. I'm going to try and pierce through. So, always shut your eyes, guys. Soap stings. Oh, very sickly. Very sickly. It actually smells like the candle I had from Tico Max near sort of like autumn time. That was vanilla pumpkin. So this is vanilla. So that's what I get it from. 
That is really nice. I don't know what the other scent is, whether it's the same or not, but for a pound, that's a perfect little stocking filler, 100%. So I got that as well. Now, in the sections of crafting, they've got some really beautiful bits as well. So I've noticed that Crayola are doing a range now in the pound shop where they do loads of different accessories that you can pick up and crafting items. So I even thought these little things are good to stick in stock, uh, stick in stockings, stick in stockings, as well as, you know, you could even do a craft hamper for someone that you know enjoys crafts. So I picked up these Crayola glitter pom-poms. These are 50 pieces um, and they're all like the glittery pom-poms. So I've got those. I also picked up these. Now they also do little kits in there which you can pick up and, you know, make things with. So I got the pack of 100 pieces craft sticks, which are really good because they can make all the Christmas trees with these or snowflakes out of these. I'm sure if you go on Pinterest and type in lolly stick crafts, there'll be plenty that comes up. So for a pound, the bright coloured ones thought were really good and with these, around a pound each. But they also have these little sets as well where you can actually make things. So it's got all the bits that you need. I thought these were so good for a stocking filler. So you make a foam art picture. This one's a lion picture. They've got a lot of Christmassy designs at the moment as well. And I think they had a, a dinosaur. So this is from three years up, it says on there. And you get all the foam crafts, the googly eyes, the glitter, the stick. They're all sticky back. And you can make yourself a little lion hanging picture. I thought that's really cute. It gives them something to do. It's a lot better than something electronic, isn't it? It's something they can actually do and you put their brains to use. So I thought that was really good. Also in there in the craft section, but obviously it wasn't Crayola, they also had these in there which I thought were really good. They've got the sticky backed adhesive gems. You get 504 gems. Now they've always done the gold and the silver and they also do a pearly design as well. But look at these rainbow gems. I know Millie is just going to love them and she's going to stick them all over her notebooks or, you know, over a pencil case. They love things like this. So for a pound again, pick those up. And in there as well, they've got these in silver, but I picked up the gold. They also have the packets of the numbers as well, but I picked up the letters because I thought these would be quite nice, maybe on my place settings or if I'm making homemade Christmas cards. So these are 112 stickers, alphabet stickers. They're quite 3D, they're like a stick out foam. Um, but yeah, glittery letters on there and they're really, really nice. I thought they were really good and you get quite a few of each letter. So that's always handy. So for pound, I thought I'd also get those as well put them to the side. I did get something else from the craft section. These are actually the make your own greeting cards. So you get a pack of 10 and they're like the brown paper. But I'm thinking of turning them on their side and being the place setting. So little tip there. So 10 of them and I might even use the glittery stickers to put their names on them and decorate them up a bit. Why not? Um, so they were a pound as well in the pound shop. Also in the, like, the, it isn't the craft section, it's more like the stationery. They have these. Now, I know my kids are going to love these. I think you're going to love these as well. So for the boys, I picked up these. I've got one of these each. Now, they did have this in a blue colour as well, but they was, they was all open in the one that I went to go into, the My Pound Shop. So it comes with 31 interchangeable letters, and it looks like Lego. And all of these letters stick on there, so they can write words on there or put their name on them. And I thought... These very much look like, you know, the things that you would get from places like Smiggle. You would never expect to get something like this from the pound shop. And how good is this? How many pages do you get? Does it say? doesn't say how many pages you get, but that's roughly how thick it is. And it's got lined paper in there. And I thought, they're going to love them. You've got a little quirky pen in there if you want. Pound shop does loads of lovely little pens as well. Um, but I just thought, well, how lovely are they? They look really cute. And they have them in a the blue section as well. So I've got them one each for the boys. I thought they were really nice. These will be lovely little gifts for kids as well if you get them some extra little bits of stationery with them. And for Millie, I picked up this one, so I thought this was really lovely. So this is a notebook, a lined notebook, yet again about the same sort of thickness. But look on the front, it's got a lovely little gold star, lovely pink cover with little gold stars on it, but it's got the interchangeable so you can turn the star to silver, which I thought was really cute. So you can obviously roll them up or you can put them down back to gold. So I thought that was really good. This says it has 50 sheets in it. Um, and it's an A5 ruled notepad, so they must be A5 ruled notepads as well. Obviously, they're the same size. Roughly, probably, I bet you get about the same amount of sheets in them. So I picked that one up for Millie. I thought that was really cute. Now, these are just perfect little stocking fillers. Also, as well, I forgot to mention in the... Oh, no, no. Don't get, I'm getting too excited. I'm like, oh, my God, they've got this. They've got this. <laughs> also, in there, they've got these highlighters. So I've got these for Millie. They're a pack of five, and they've got all little pictures of um, mouses on them. And they're pastel highlighters, which Millie just loves anything pastel at the minute. She's at the age where everything's slime, everything's fidget spinners and stuff like that. Everything has to be glittery and pastel. Because of the unicorn craze, 
everything's pastel. So you get a pack of five highlighters, and they're a pound. They also did do like voice um, looking ones that like, are robots and stuff on them with like bright pastel, like um, what they call primary colours like red, blue and green and stuff. So yeah, got those. Green isn't a primary colour, I know. It's red, yellow and blue, isn't it? <laughs> I know someone's going to correct me on that. You can make green with two primary colours, which would be blue and yellow. But yeah, so I've got them for Millie as well. So they were only a pound. Basically, everything's a pound, unless I say otherwise. There's only two things in here that are two pound each. So the next thing I picked up were, again, from the beauty section, because I forgot to show you these bits. So I thought these were lovely, and you could always separate these if you're going to do like separate gift bags or like hampers. But I thought for a stocking filler, these are boxed really nice. So you get three separate 40 gram bath bombs. So you get two pink ones and one uh, like white one. They're bath fizzers that you put in the bath. Are they scented? They don't say if they're scented or not. I don't know if they smell of anything, or if they're more like the glittery sort of bath bombs to have a bit of fun in the bath with. But I thought the boxing on this was really nice. And you definitely could do like a lovely little kid's hamper with not very much money at all. Like, I know Millie would absolutely love opening things like this. Like, how lovely they're packaged as well. Really beautiful. So I've got these for Millie as well. So these are only a pound and you get the free bath bombs. And then they did have, in like the more grown-up section, they had these. So they've got a big shimmer bath soak. So this is rose hip vanilla fragrance and it's a shimmer bath soap but how cute is this so it comes in a lovely little holographic packet and I think it's box nice so it just looks nicer anyway you would never think something like this was from the pound shop and if you found this in your stocking you'd be quite pleasantly surprised so I picked up this one and um, how much do you get in this so it's 12 ml so 200 milliliter and this is the rose hip and vanilla I think it's probably going to smell very similar to this one, but this is more of like the younger one and this is more of like the grown up one. So they do this, but they also had in there the bath salts as well. So you get two boxes of bath salts and one is, what do they smell of? A relaxing spa fragrance. They're both the same, both the same scent. So yet again, you could buy these and split these up if you're doing like spa type hampers. I do have a video of turning Panland items into nice, like more expensive looking gifts. I'll try and link that below in the description box. I know that was a really big hit last year. You loved it. Because um, it is nice to be able to not have to spend a lot of money, but get some really, and sometimes it makes it more thoughtful if you add your own touch onto it. So these are two times 100 grams packets of the um, bath salts with a spa scent. I'll be interested to know what the spa scent actually smells like, whether it's like a eucalyptus type or whether they've just gone for like the rose hip and vanilla again. But like you put these in a stocking filler, I thought they were really nice. I also picked up this little set. Now I thought this was really nice. They come so nice box. You would never know these are from the pound shop. Um, so this is a lip balm and mirror. So you get a lip balm with vitamin E and it comes in a nice little navy pot with it written on it and then the mirror is like a hard plastic shell and it's a gold mirror. I'm going to open this so you can see what it looks like. So the mirror is a hard plastic shell on one side so gold glitter on the back, perfect for in your handbag, lovely mirror and the lip balm, let's get the lip balm, let's get the lip balm out. Oh it's quite nice, oh wow it looks like a macaroon, it's shaped like a macaroon, it's shaped like a macaroon and then it untwists it doesn't smell of anything, but it's actually, oh, that is nice and like nourishing, really nice. Um, so lip balm with vitamin E, it's quite nice sometimes, because sometimes people, I know that's weird, but I had to taste it. You know, like when you like, it's all right, I wash my hands before I've done a video, but you know when you sort of think, <laughs> it's the back of my hand anyway, I'm not touching anything with it, but you know like when sometimes it tastes too much and it's like fragrant, it's not, and it doesn't smell of anything either. So I thought that was really good, and this obviously isn't going to be gifted to anyone now. This would just be mine. Um, but yeah, lovely little gold mirror. I thought that was really cute for a pound. Also as well in there, they've got these. So they've got a little stamp set. Now this wasn't in the craft section. This was in the Christmas gift section. But these little stampers are perfect for wrapping. So during this week, I'm going to be doing my wrapping ideas and try and do it a little bit more eco. Um, but I love a traditional stamp. And these are perfect because you can do stampers and put people's names on it. Or if you make your own cards. But alternatively, kids would love getting these as well. And um, it comes with a little ink pad there in black ink. And it has the letters of the alphabet in it. I thought for a pound that was really good. So there's 26 letters of the alphabet. So they're all in there. And also I picked up... Now, something for the dog, actually. How cute is this little Christmas bone? How lovely is 
this. I picked this up for a pound for Bertie. I thought he'd really like this. This is just going to go in his little stocking as well. And I thought I'd better show it because I forgot to show his Christmas Eve bag when I'd done the Christmas Eve bags. But here we go. Little Christmassy bone in the red, white and green, which I thought was really cute. Got that for a pound. I also picked up this. So... These were two pounds, these were. These were from the two pound section, but I want to show you them because I still think they're very good value for two pounds. So these are for Millie, and I thought she'd really love these. So these are the mini clip lights. So they're a set of string lights, but they've got these bright colored light clips on them, like Blapastly and Brights on them. Now she does have an Instax camera. Now if that is a camera that is on any of your sort of like, anyone you know's Christmas list, these would be perfect. So if you wanted to get someone a gift and they're into photography, you could get them a book that they could turn on, turn it into a scrapbook to put their pictures in. But for £2 and you get a pack of these, how many clips do you get on them? I think you see all the ones that are on this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you get eight clips on there, but these light up. And I thought these would be really cute in any teenager's room. How cute for £2. So these are for Millie. Um, and they're obviously battery operated. And I thought... The box as well, they look really cute. And then she's going to have all these little Instax pictures because this is the camera she's got. So she can hang them up in her bedroom, pictures of her and her friends. So for £2, I picked that one up. Thought that was really good. And also, for once people are back on their holly bobs, how cute are these? So you get the little passport and gift tag, like luggage tag set. Now, it feels like it's like a soft leathery type material. But obviously, it's not actually leather. It does feel quite nice. It's probably not the same sort of quality that you would get from something I don't know from a more expensive place but it is really nice really pretty and it does jazz up a passport and I think for a little stocking filler these are quite nice and um, I prefer the quality of the passport holder to the actual luggage tag I don't really like the quality of the tag I don't think that would stay on very well and um, nevertheless you could put a little metal chain on that if you wanted to and they had this in a really nice greyish color so like a gray beige color as well so for two pound I thought they were really cute and it does say passport on there as well so these were in the two pound section and then I've just got a few little random bits that I picked up as you get to near the till. You know the, you know that section where you go, I'm not going to pick none of it up. And then you do, you pick up stuff. And I'm glad I did because in my kids' stockings, every year I like to put chocolate coins in as well. I think it's just fun and they find some chocolate coins in the bottom of their stocking with other little like miscellaneous pieces. Um, so I've got those. You get yummy chocolate coins and these are lovely. You get a nice big bag of them and they're only a pound. But they've also got the chocolate notes, which my kids love. They just love them. So, yeah, chocolate notes, you've got your 50s in there, your £10, your £5. So, and your 20s, don't forget your 20s with your pictures of Big Ben on them, which, you know, is not a real note. It'd be funny, wouldn't it, if my kids actually thought these were real, try and pay in the shop with them. But, um, you know, I'm the kind of shopkeeper where I would definitely take payment in chocolate, but obviously that's not the way the world is. But, yeah, so only a pound for some chocolate money, so I got them as well to go in their stocking. And I picked up this. So cocktail season is upon us everyone's going to be having cocktails at home chilling out over christmas and i thought if you was to get someone i don't know like a really cool gift idea like maybe if they like gin you could do like gin fizzes or like i don't know like porn style martinis you could get them the ingredients of them ingredients plural ingredients <laughs> ingredients you could get them but these are only a pound and they're glitter for your cocktails the edible glitter and they're for cocktails, and they do gold, silver, but I got the rose gold, because I thought that was really cool, and that's going to look really lovely, on a little, like, snowball, or, you know, a champagne fizz, I thought that'd be really nice, got rose gold, and I thought, obviously, if you are doing a little hamper like that, you can pop them in as well. Another thing I wanted to say, this is more of an idea, rather than an actual, like, buy them as they are. I know stocking fillers are kind of harder the older you get. I find you, obviously, everyone wants chocolates and treats and bits like that. But I find with my nan, if I was going to make my nan a stocking, she doesn't really want chocolates. She doesn't really want these little bits. Like she's, She knows what skincare regime she has. She's very much into the perfume she likes. She's very much into the creams that she likes. So she's very hard to get stockings for. So I picked up these. I thought these are really good value. So for instance, milk tray, you get a 78 gram box of them. A little selection, but for a pound, they're perfect size to pop into a stocking. And I picked up these as well. So in the pound shop, they do a packet of two frames. They do these in black, gold, and silver as well. But I've got the white. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to get a picture of the children, pop it in there, wrap it up and pop it into her stocking. So I thought something a little bit more personal. And in a pound shop, they do really good cheap frames. So obviously you can do two photos 
for a pound in there. They do larger sizes as well, but I thought these are a really good idea to pick up as well. So I just wanted to share that idea because I always get my nan a picture of the kids every year, like as a little wrap up with her present because she just loves that. Also as well, this is nothing to do with the pound shop, but I always get a Terry's chocolate orange for Gary's stocking. And I don't know why, it's 25p, 25p is 25p, and if you're getting loads of people then, then you'll make a little saving. So currently, I was gonna get these from the pound shop, but in Wilco at the moment, Wilkinson's, they have got these for 75p, which I thought was such a good deal, 75p for a chocolate orange. So I've got a few of these, but I just wanted to let you know, because I always pop these in Gary's stocking, so I thought I'd let you know about that one. So these have been my stocking fillers. I'm just checking that there isn't anything else on the table. So hopefully you enjoyed, oh, Oh look, see, there was a weird light that's coming off of the holographic. Put them over there. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this little haul. I'm gonna be doing my Christmas wreath tomorrow, my little DIY wreath, so it's kind of like a craft coming up as well. And then we're gonna be doing some making our own wrapping paper and some wrapping ideas as well in the week. So hopefully you'll enjoy them videos. Oh, just realized I've got a little ASOS try on haul as well. I had a jumper on today, I've changed now. Long story, but end up getting Frere Rocher encrusted onto my jumper, sat there with a blanket on because I was watching movies and ended up with melted chocolate in my cleavage and on my jumper, so I had to change. It's bad enough that I've come on here with a few nails not painted because I picked them off because they were chipped. I thought, I can't have chipped nails, they don't look very nice. I picked the whole entirety of them off and forgot to repaint them. But you know, you only get real, real on here. <laughs> so my fingers, they've got no paint on them. <laughs> Just my pointy fingers, you know. I'm going to glitter on them up. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. And I've got loads of videos coming up this week. So hopefully you enjoyed day two of Vlogmas. And hopefully you've had a little bit of inspiration to head down to the pound shop. Because as they say, you don't always have to spend a lot of money to get nice bits. So yeah, I've been Rosie Henshaw. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Take care, guys. Bye.